Nola Gent here, and we've got another package from Zero Foxtrot. Whoa, what do you think's in here? Oh yeah, let's check it out. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. All right, here's the package ripping open time. Whoa. Oh look, it looks like something matches. And oh, ho oh, oh, ho, look here. Okay, I put on my shorts that were in that package, and uh, this is an earlier order I'd gotten. Well, this is the uh, Surf Shirt 2.0. I've got two of the Surf Shirts from last year. I have to say, I really like the uh, selection of patterns and colors last year way better than this year's. Now, I did like this shirt pretty well. I have to say, they're a little looser for the version 2.0 than the original ones last year. Now, I did notice a lot more loose threads, so it seems maybe their uh, people who are sewing these didn't do quite as good a job on this year's version as they did last year's, because just definitely a lot more loose thread ends I've had to uh, trim up, but the fit is much improved. This is much looser than the uh, ones from last year, so I uh, definitely like that. Now, uh, if you notice, patterns don't exactly match. I was a little, uh, uh, you know, expecting that the size would be kind of the same on the shirt as it is on the shorts, which uh, that is not the case. Definitely it's smaller on the shirt, the pattern on the shorts are larger. Also, these are the uh, shrug trunks and not the uh, board shorts. I think I would rather have had the uh, board shorts in this pattern. The uh, Regular swim trunks here are a little shorter, which I'm fine with that, but I do like the fit better of the board shorts than the swim trunks. There's also a liner in here. I'm not a big fan of the liners. So, uh, got another option under here as well. So, so far I would say that the uh, surf shirt fit 2.0, big win. This pattern's a big win. I wish they'd bring back some of the camo patterns like they had last year. Got another video on those already. Here is a, another Zero Fox drop first for me. Uh, I got this uh, a while back as well. The t-shirts. So the t-shirts, I uh, got a good fit to it. Very comfortable t-shirt. So I do enjoy the fit of this t-shirt. I will say though, this uh, fabric is thinner than most of my other t-shirts. So, uh, you know, it's held up pretty well, but certainly it's uh, a lot more thin of a fabric than I was expecting which I don't know if that impacts longevity or not. So, you know, it does a cotton polyester blend. So we'll have to see how that goes so far. It's worked out perfectly fine for me. And it, of course, has that uh, Zero Foxtrot attitude uh, fun to it. So it's a pretty cool shirt, pretty comfortable. Uh, you know, I do have the board shorts. Let's check those out. So here we have the board shorts and uh, they've got a drawstring that's exactly the same as on the swim trunks. And I would say the uh, more these to swim in, I've washed them. The drawstring here seems to uh, come out and attach, and I've also noticed that the uh, little fabric that this uh, string is made out of is uh, not holding up as well as I would like. It's already kind of starting to uh, get some little spots on it where it's attracting uh, little debris and stuff on it in the washing machine. Now the uh, fit, you know, you've got two pockets here, and then you've got a third in the back where there's a little, uh, String right here to hold things, I guess, like keys and such. Overall, uh, you know, the fit is uh, pretty comfortable, pretty good swimming, I would say. Uh, now, of course, this is not an actual fly, which, uh, you know, it would have been nice to put maybe a little Velcro or some other kind of attachment thing to make this an actual real fly that they seem to take the trouble to make it look like a fly at least. So it would have been nice. Well, most of my other board shorts have an actual fly with some kind of velcro or something like that to close it. That could have been a nice little addition, whereas with the board shorts, you uh, get a little more length. I was a little shorter than this, which I'm fine with. It just seems that the uh, pockets are about the same as in the board shorts and the swim trucks here. Uh, the rear pocket has a little zipper on it, just like the board shorts as well, and a little string in it. just like the board shorts. So a very similar design, 
except you're not getting that fake front fly and you get this uh, very uh, not meshy mesh but it's still mesh uh, I think I would much rather have it without this pair of uh, built-in panties inside of it so huh these are very very interesting basically it looks like shorts rather than more of the uh, tidy whitey style of mesh uh, however I think I might cut those out I just don't like all that extra Ugh. so if you uh, see what this looks like when I pull the leg up it's almost like I'm wearing bicycle shorts with the way this little liner fits in underneath here so these uh, are extra large which that's what the board shorts here are as well however on uh, their website for whatever reason they're swim trunks from last year had a different sizing chart than the ones from this year uh, these still fit me even though they said they only went to a size 36 ish where uh, it's like a 36 to 38 range on their uh, size chart for where the last year's version of these so a little inconsistent in the size charts so you know take it for what it is and uh, you may or may not find it fits you. I found it fit me perfectly fine. I'm you know, somewhere between a 36, 37-ish, depending on what the day is, any given moment. Uh, around fall, I might get up to a 38. Another difference the board shorts have is there's a uh, little cutout here down below. So that is another difference. And here's the other thing that was on the package. I got yet another surf shirt. And same kind of pattern, just a different color. So, first time trying it on, let's see if it maintains that looser fit that I like better than last year's version. Okay, so this does feel nice and loose the way I like it. That way when I carry my special tools over here that uh, it doesn't uh, get in the way of anything I need to whenever I am having to get into different equipment and get into all the things in your pockets that you carry. So it's good to have a nice loose fitting and not slim fit hipster fit shirt. So I like my tropical Hawaiian shirts to be loose fitting and breathable. So this to me far superior to last year's that were way tighter. Ah, yeah, so, uh, Zero Foxtrot, keep this style fit. We'll bring back some of those camo patterns and some of the other uh, patterns like this and the colors you had last year. I think we've got some winners, because last year those things sold out fast. And so there were a lot of the camo patterns that were really cool, and a lot of those other colors in this design were quite uh, two thumbs up looking. So some of us have missed out because everything sold out so fast last year. We are looking forward to you bringing some of those older patterns back because it was a good time. Now your uh, flex turn didn't look the best, so maybe uh, expand the pattern of that, do a little work to make it look more like the actual flex turn as uh, that was the one camo pattern that was not exactly the one that uh, looked the best from the pictures at least. Maybe in person it would look better. But hey, overall I'd say this uh, new design other than a few of the loose threads, it's been a real improvement. Uh, just bring some of those old designs back in the 2.0 version. So overall, I'd say the uh, Beach Life is going to do pretty well with these uh, version 2.0 surf shirts, the swim trunks, and the uh, board shorts there. So should be time for some good tropical weather fun now that we're at the peak of summer. Now, everything that I have tried on today and showed you it's all size extra large. Nolichek here, and thanks so much for watching. Make sure to destroy this video right here and keep up with the fun.